In previous videos, we mentioned that amino acids can be connected to other amino acids. When amino acids are joined together, this only takes place through covalent bonds that link amino acid units. It is covalent bonds that connect the amino acids, even though we've previously mentioned that in terms of physical properties, amino acids often act like ionic compounds. The most frequent way that amino acids are connected is through a peptide bond. A peptide bond is the carbon-nitrogen bond in an amide functional group that's present in the peptide backbone. You should recall that some amino acids have amide groups in their side chains, but those carbon-nitrogen bonds are not called peptide bonds because they are not part of the peptide backbone. In general, peptides are drawn from what's called an N-terminal end on the left to the C-terminal end on the right. It's called an N-terminal end because the peptide bond ends with a nitrogen. It's called a C-terminal end because at the right end of the peptide chain is a carbonyl carbon. Let's look at an example of a peptide. This particular one has three amino acid units. We see repeating series of nitrogen, carbon, carbon, nitrogen. And this repeats a couple of times. The peptide bond on the first connection between two amino acids is the carbon-nitrogen bond of the amide functional group indicated here. We have a second peptide bond also a carbon-nitrogen bond of an amide functional group connecting another two amino acids. In total, this peptide has three amino acid units. For the amino acid all the way on the right, we see that it has a side chain that has an amide functional group. However, because that amide functional group is not part of the horizontal nitrogen-carbon-carbon-nitrogen peptide backbone, that is not a peptide bond. This kind of sequence of amino acids is what we call the peptide sequence. It's the order of amino acids that are attached going from N-terminal end to C-terminal end. A second way amino acids can be connected to other amino acids is through what's known as a disulfide bond. In a previous video, we briefly mentioned that thiols or an SH group on an alkyl chain can be oxidized to form disulfides. Cysteine is the only alpha amino acid that has a thiol functional group on its side chain. Two cysteine units can be oxidized to form a disulfide bond or a disulfide bridge which provides structure to protein chains by connecting one part of the chain to another. Disulfide bonds can also connect separate protein chains or peptide chains to each other.